Sean mentioned we are after 430 now almost rush hour, but think about this. People were just waking up when all of this started happening this morning. All the police activities surprised people who were in the area of the scene at WDSU reporter Kelsey Davis spoke to people who live near the scene of the deadly shootings. She continues our team coverage. While the manhunt continued in Jefferson Parish, residents in two neighborhoods off of Barataria were asked to stay indoors. Of course, many of them watching as the entire search unfolded on their TV sets and watching as about 20 agencies assisted Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office in locating uh, the suspect behind this morning's early shooting. Of course, those 20 agencies, including the Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office, U.S. Marshals, uh, Louisiana State Police, and of course, they were all both searching on the ground and in the air as residents watched the whole entire thing unfold on TV. All they could do was pray for the best. First thing that came to my mind was to protect my family. The second thing was that it was um, a disruption to our community, which is a really quiet community. So, um, you know, it also expressed what kind of violence is coming to the area. Now, the one resident we spoke to said while she was just waiting in her home uh, to hear some news of what was going on with this investigation and the search, she said she was still proud to see all of these agencies come together as they were trying to fulfill the ultimate goal, and that's protecting this community and seeking justice for the two people who were killed this morning. Reporting in Marrero, Kelsey Davis, WDSU News.